Uh, the CEO of Southwest Airlines, Gary Kelly, has tested positive for COVID. Our Jack Fink is joining us live over at Dallas Love Field, of course, where the airline is based. So, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is we just saw him two days ago testifying before Congress, obviously in and among a whole lot of people. Well, that's right, Doug. And Southwest Airlines said today that before that U.S. Senate hearing on Wednesday afternoon, Gary Kelly had tested negative for the virus multiple times. And in a statement this afternoon, an airline spokeswoman, spokesperson told us Gary tested positive after returning home, experiencing mild symptoms and taking a PCR test. Gary is doing well and currently resting at home. He has been fully vaccinated and received the booster earlier this year. During that hearing, Kelly sat next to American Airlines CEO Doug Parker, along with United CEO and COO from Delta Airlines. A spokesperson for American says Parker is symptom-free, fully vaccinated, and getting tested this afternoon. No update yet on that result. Delta tells us its COO tested negative for the virus both yesterday and today, and we are still waiting to hear back from United Airlines. Southwest says that Kelly's symptoms continue to be mild and that each day he is moving closer to a full recovery. As for Kelly, he made headlines Wednesday when asked by senators about whether masks provide additional protection aboard the aircraft. The airlines use high-grade air filters on planes to capture nearly all airborne contamination. Yeah, I, I think the case uh, is very strong that uh, masks don't add much, if anything, uh, in the uh, air cabin environment. It's very safe and very high quality com compared to uh, uh, any other indoor setting. I concur. The, air, the aircraft is the safest place you can be. Um, it's true of all of our aircraft. They all have these HEPA filters in the same airflow. Now, after that comment, American Airlines sent out a statement clarifying that uh, Parker agreed that the air quality aboard aircraft is very high quality, but that he did not intend to cast any doubt on the need for passengers and crew to wear masks aboard the aircraft. That mask mandate for airplanes and airports continues through March 18th. We're live at Dallas Love Field. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, thank you so much for the update.